Hey everyone, it's Froggy, and today I'm starting a new visual novel called Will a Wonderful World. So my best friend, who I don't know if you guys remember, but when I used to play rock band, I would sometimes play with a guy named Bob. Um, so him. Anyways, he was telling me about a visual novel where you play as God and you answer letters and prayers and it sounded really interesting to me so I looked into it and I bought it immediately. <laughs> I, I needed this and I'm so excited to play it. It looks like such a good game. I'm sorry if I'm okay I'm making a whole lot of noise here. Okay. Um, so anyways, um, he's gonna be playing it at the same time as me on his own and I'm gonna be playing it here so he's probably gonna be watching. Hi! Um, <laughs> Um, and we're gonna try and compare and see what kind of endings we get because there's a whole lot of different ways that you can play this game So I'm very excited to try it. Anyways, so let's get uh, started. Shall we? New game uh, Normal mode suitable for players who are not familiar with this type of game. There will be hints given in red text to help you navigate through letters Okay, it's fine. Yeah normal definitely normal There was an urban legend. Write your troubles down on a note. Hold it in your hand at midnight and pray. God, please help me. Then God will hear your plea and change your fate. It was only a legend though. That has gone viral for a brief period of time. Excerpt from modern urban legends. Oh, do I actually have to click it? Ugh, my head hurts. Where am I? What happened? You finally woke up. I've been waiting for so long. I was beginning to worry that you might never wake up. It's a talking dog! Uh, and are you? My pet, my neighbor's dog, Fluffy. Let's say my pet. My pet? Must stay calm. How dare you call me a pet? Do I look like a pet? Well, yes. I am your servant. Don't you remember? Servant? Servant? What is this talking dog going on about? Am I having a dream? Servant. As in, you could help me fetch the newspaper? Have you lost your memories? Lost my memories? Yeah, you fell down the stairs yesterday. And then you passed out. I thought you might have hit your head. I fell? No, my head doesn't hurt anywhere. There's no bruising. Anyway, let's both settle down a little. How about a quick test? Now, look into my big, beautiful eyes. And tell me, what is my name? Uh... Fluffy? Fluffy, my ass! Oh well, I guess you really did lose your memories. My name is Will. Sometimes I go by Willy. Ah. Will, a wonderful world. I get it. Willy? Yes, Willy. Willy Wonka? No, it's just Willy. I don't own a chocolate factory. Also, don't you know that chocolate is dangerous for dogs? Oh, wait. I'm not a dog. Oh, boy. It seems worse than I thought. Listen to me carefully. I'm not a dog, and you're not a human. That doesn't sound right. We are gods. What? Yes, that's right. We are gods. How did you know what I was thinking just now? I'm a god. Of course I know. As gods, it is our job to change the fate of the humans who ask us for help. Humans encounter all kinds of trouble in their lives, and sometimes they pray to us, hoping for miracles, as they call them. 
We can help them and grant their wishes. Or not. It's all up to you, of course. Wait, wait, wait. Stop babbling so fast. I don't understand what you're saying at all. I'm not babbling. You're just too slow. You know what? Let's start with job orientation, shall we? Come over here. It's time to do some work. Hold on. Are we starting already? I still don't have a clue what's going on. Besides, didn't you just tell me that we're gods? Why do gods have to work? Don't lie to me just because I've lost my memories. I was not lying. In any case, if you don't finish today's work, we won't have any dinner tonight. Fine. See that small red box? That is a message from the human today. Alright, let's see what she has got herself into this time. I want to go home. My name is Li Wen. I am a senior at Yingnan High School. Today I went to a nearby court to play tennis for the first time since I had moved to my new place. It was very poorly maintained court, so I guess hardly anyone ever uses it. The light over the tennis court is maintained by some of the residents themselves. The dim light bulb kept making a buzzing noise. One, two, three. I had just hit all 30 of the balls that I had, so I picked up the now empty basket. I walked to the other side of the court and collected the balls before hitting them all again. No one else was in the tennis court. All I could hear was the sound of the balls hitting my rocket and then bouncing off the ground. The light bulb flicked twice and went out. I picked up the balls and left the court, walking towards a small alley. I had walked through it earlier on my way to the court. The alley was always dark, no matter what time of day it was. I kept humming to myself quietly in my head, just to be less scared. I arrived at my apartment and suddenly realized that my keys were not in my pocket. I tried to think back. I must have left them at the tennis court. If the light hadn't suddenly gone out, I would have noticed that they were not on me. Well, this sucked. It was too late to go back to the court, not to mention that I was not even able to find the keys without any light. A desk lamp was on the manager's office, as was the radio, but nobody was there. I stood outside the window and waited for a long time, but Uncle Sun, who was supposed to be on duty tonight, never showed up. The motion sensor lights in the hallway kept turning on and off every few minutes. I was beginning to feel a little scared. A late night talk show was on. The hosts were talking about a popular urban legend that had also been making the rounds at school. It said that if you wrote a note to God in the middle of the night, then God would solve all of your problems for you. Jing was really into this stuff. Well, if such a God really exists, maybe he or she could help unlock the door for me? Or make Uncle Sun come back to his office soon. Please, please? Li Wen. Uh, okay. Uh, let's start. Uh, well. Do people always write to gods just because they forgot their keys? Uh, no, not always. No. But humans are exceptionally annoying. You'll see a lot more random nonsense of all kinds in the future. Forget about why she asked for our help now. Let's take a look at how we may help her. Now, use this pen I just gave you. We can slice this letter into several pieces. Now, see some of these pieces are black and some of them are white. To prevent logical chaos, some of these pieces cannot be moved. These pieces are designated in black. Meanwhile, the white pieces can be moved anywhere, with one exception. No white pieces can go past the first or last piece. Now that you understand the limitations in moving these pieces, you may feel free to move the white pieces around. After you rearrange the white pieces, these events will happen exactly as you want in the human world. 
If your rearrangement has altered the previous cause links within the event, naturally the ending of the letter will be changed. Oh well, that's about it. What? Are you telling me that I could just change what has happened to the human by moving these sentences around? Exactly. Isn't it straightforward? Oh gosh! That is so awesome! Can you do it too? Only the person who is holding the pen is capable of doing this. Go ahead, and give it a try. Once you make your decision, just select OK. I picked up most of the balls and left the court walking towards a small alley. Okay, so let's move these two. Okay, I guess. The alley was always dark to begin with, and with the light gone, it had become pitch black. I couldn't see even my hands in front of my face. I kept having a feeling that something is going to happen. Scenes from horror movies and homicide shows I'd seen suddenly flashed through my head. Since I was too scared, I turned around and picked another longer way home. The detour was a crowded and lively street. It was full of people hanging out and waiting in front of bars. And a lot of arcades were still open. I was planning to head straight home and go to bed, but I saw the latest version of stuff Sir's body through the window of an arcade. Hey, there is some text highlighted in blue here. And that means a term archived in our dictionary. The human's letter often includes some special terms related to their day-to-day -day lives. These terms will be highlighted. Since we are gods, there is nothing that we don't understand. Therefore, whenever we encounter one of these strange terms, a definition for them will automatically appear in our dictionary. We may either select the highlighted blue text to see the explanation for that specific term, or browse all of the archived terms in the dictionary. By the way, similar to the dictionary, we also keep a record of profiles of everyone who has written to us. All you need to do is select their header picture in the letter selection screen to read about them. Oh wow, being a god is so convenient. Unfortunately, it was not for sale. I had to get it out of the claw machine. And I'm not very good at those. I spent almost all of the cash that I had on me. But I didn't come close even once. Miss, we are about to close. Please check your belongings and don't leave anything behind. I lowered my head in disappointment. I noticed that there was a bottle of some kind of drink on the counter that had appeared out of nowhere. Perhaps somebody had forgotten it there. I picked it up and threw it in the trash on my way out. I got home and turned on the light. All of the boxes I had moved in two days ago were still lying all over the floor. Tomorrow, I'll unpack them tomorrow. I'm too exhausted now. At least the shower felt great. I got out of the shower, climbed into bed, and immediately fell asleep. Good night. First step. Woo! Look, because of what you did now, it's the alley that has a broken light bulb instead of the tennis court. Therefore, the girl would not have left her keys at the dark tennis court. Even though it was only a tiny change, you were indeed you have indeed changed her fate. More importantly, you might have changed more than what we are seeing right now. The impact of this tiny event could last for a long time, maybe even influence her entire life. A chain reaction like this is called the butterfly effect in the human world. We still can't be certain of how big the impact to her future is going to be. But keep in mind that our power has a potentially dangerous side to it. We must never abuse it. Hmm. I understand. Well, we are done with this letter. Let's go back and see if there are more. Uh, rank S! Woo! Alright, well... This is kind of really interesting. I'm super excited for this game. I'm going to end this episode here for today, though. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos from me, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.